Fun, fun. Next up, we have a another collaboration with Todd Knife and Tool. Here we've got the Wii Roxy. Uh, sorry, Roxy 3. This guy has the cutout, uh, thumb cutout, so you can uh, use it with it for a uh, thumb flick. You can also um, front flip. Oh, we wanted to stop and talk to Terrell about this sick new design. Uh, we got the Roxy 3. Uh, awesome. Terrell, tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Roxy 3 has been a long time coming. It's one my brother and I, Seth, designed several years ago. Not me. No, not <laughs> you, man. <laughs> Seth Todd. Right, not Seth Hickenback. I can't Close. pronounce your last name. Man. Close. Sorry. But, uh, In they, the next couple of months? Yeah, they tell me fall of this year. Yeah. That really means just before January. Yep, I, I haven't seen it uh, on the list yet to, for when it's going to be at New Year's, but it will be soon, like you said, this fall. So All we're right. excited to have this one. Um, oh, tell me, one more, one more question I had. How is this different than the previous versions of the Roxy? Okay, the first version of the Roxy was... The makers, like Greg Medford, um, uh, that was that was really cool, you know, meeting Leon Ma, um, Brian Brown, uh, just <laughs> these people that I get to see on video and see their products, experience some of their products, but to get to meet them in person and have a one-to-one -one conversation was absolutely amazing. Um, I gotta be honest, I like the Redencio, I love, it's a little big in my head, this is more my speed, yeah. you know what I mean? Dude, I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at that choke up. Dude, M390, Titanium, yep. Ramon, just all over that night, man. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Um, this was a little beat up. This is my user tap. These came out uh, what, a month ago, I guess. Yeah. Uh, these are really cool. Little flipper, ambidextrous clip. So this one I carry in my left pocket. Dude, those are, I'm not kidding, We so just Wednesday, we did a, a live video, and Graham went over the TAK, and fell off the trip. The people, the people are going crazy over this night. Proprietary steel was designed back in 2019. They've got a proprietary steel, yeah. Medium, S35 and blade. I love how we actually match the blasting on the scales and the blade finish. It is just, I have one in my pocket right now. This is by far one of the best oh, yeah. to carry. It is yeah. just so usable, so practical. It's low for our pocket. And for me, I'm not a big knife guy. Like, yeah. I like my knives maximum 3.5. This has changed my mind. Over the course of the year, I'm not doing bigger knives because this has changed. Yeah, it's that just is really great. nice. And it has a little slight texture to it. Yes. Let's take a close up of that. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Can you hear it? Probably not over the uh, in the sounds of the show. <laughs> Let, let's take a close up. It's making a sound, I promise. Okay. But yeah, there is a slight texturing to it. Yeah. It's a very light micromelon on If I'm saying that right. Yep, that's it. Uh, within the last few months, this is the Silax designed by Dylan Mallory. It's just Daddy himself. Oh, he's here. He's here working uh, yeah, at the show. We can't see him. Yeah, he is. He's like a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing is such a good utility. Right, so okay, here's, here's the thing. This is a strange knife because Dylan designed it as a utility knife. But it's like yeah. no utility knife for Because when I think of utility knife, I think like your average, fairly chunky, drop point three inch blade. This might be a little direction. It's a slim, five inch spicer. It's more of a kitchen knife. So, perfect so comfortable in hand. hand. Kitchen knife. I need it for the kitchen. It's great. I mean, we didn't know what to expect our first year, right? <clears throat> we didn't know really how things worked, or whatever. We didn't buy the early bird passes, and so the first day, Friday, we didn't even, we didn't get to even, or they didn't even start taking uh, requests for the bracelets to show your tickets until like 12 o'clock. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat>